First time I've picked up the BFS in a hot minute. Hopefully I can still cast this thing. Oh my gosh. Bass rocket launched after this thing. Throw it back in there. There he is. I knew he'd come back. That's exactly what I'm looking for today. I don't need any giants, but little BFS bass. Oh yeah, haven't done this in a while. It's kind of fun. There you go. About jumped in my hand. And that's what I was hoping to catch right there. Chunky little bass on the BFS setup. It's the first time I've used my BFS in quite some time. And I rigged up a little Kitek mono spin jig and I put the little burrow bug on there and it looks freaking awesome. I definitely want to use this for smallmouth in the future. Either way, we just proved it works for largemouth. See ya, bud. That's another one. That was a super sluggish bite. I don't know if this is a big fish or what's going on here. I think he wants to be big, but I don't think he is. Oh man, I might need to loosen my drag of hair. Oh my gosh, he's torching me. He's not bad, he's not bad. And he choked that thing. There you go, look at that. God, he freaking choked that jig. It's probably a little 16 inch bass. The second I saw these little Kitek jigs, I knew they'd be perfect for that burrow bug. And there you go. See ya, buddy. Uh, there's another one. Oh my gosh. I plucked it off the bottom and this guy just kind of hammered it. What the heck is going on? God, they're eating weird. I thought this bank looked good. It's got all that rock in the shallows. And we've already caught two fish on it. Good. Oh, look at there. Right in the upper lip, too. Not a very big fish, kind of skinny looking, but uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. These are about the perfect size for this setup. Okay, so as mentioned, and if you watched my most recent YouTube video, you would know that I absolutely hammered crappie this morning. That being said, I just switched to this BFS setup right here, and I'm immediately starting to catch some bass, and it took me like five minutes. I've already caught like three of them, it's ridiculous. And I'm doing it on this little tiny micro jig, which is wonderful because this thing is sweet looking. I mostly had high hopes for like river fishing for smallmouth with this, but it's showing a lot of promise for lake fishing uh, largemouth bass. So I'll take that as well. Anyways, we're gonna do some BFS fishing. I'm only gonna fish with this BFS setup throughout this video. And I'm really excited because I've been meaning to fish with this thing for some time. And for some reason, it's just been sitting in my room. So we needed to change that. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get back to fishing. I think what's kind of cool about this rig is the fact that it's really small, but it's also like bulky. It's like a little compact profile. And I think that you're still gonna get bites from decent fish on it. The fact that I can basically fish it like a Ned rig, or I can fish it like a standard jig, or I can swim it, I feel like this is a pretty versatile little rig. For me, I'm not a huge fan of BFS for like super ultralight stuff. That's why I like to use my ultralight spinning rods. But for stuff like this, kind of that mid-range, like finesse, but a little bit smaller than your typical bass finesse, so kind of like that 1 16th to 3 16th, to me that's like, that's where BFS is gonna be a lot of fun for bass fishing applications. I definitely think I'm gonna catch a fish on one of these docks. Speak of the devil, oh my gosh. I literally was trying to like pop that free of something and this one just hammered it. Golly, these fish are biting super weird. Daggummit, he shook it. He freaking shook it. I can't believe he just shook that. I thought I had him pinned. That was a decent bass. It was about the size of my bigger one earlier. Probably like a 16 incher. They're kind of just like bellying up to the mud is what I think and they're just kind of slurping this thing. They're not like, oh there, that one was a normal hit. That was a typical jig bite. No, that's two in a row. Two in a row that shook it when they jumped. I mean, it's a small hook, but I feel like I'm pinning them. Could just be a coincidence. We'll see, if it continues to be an issue, then I gotta dial something else in. There's one. Oh man, that one hammered it. 
All right, good. Try to keep them out of the air. When they jump like that, that's when problems happen. That's a pretty big fish for a BFS setup. It's kind of like a light power rod, I feel like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yes, sir. Let's go. I'm glad I picked this stick up. <laughs> Guess I should have picked it up earlier. It's a nice bass right there. Probably about a 17 incher probably. A couple pounds, maybe two and a half. Not a bad little fish. Two and a half pounder probably. Jeez, feisty bud. See ya buddy. Immediately. How you doing? Oh, catching some little bass, having fun. <laughs> I just caught one that was probably like, I don't know, two and a half pounds. So not, not tiny, but not a giant either. There's another one. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a daggum warmouth. God, this place is awesome. Look at that. Look at his tail, kind of beat up. Huh, wasn't expecting that. See you, bud. Sweet. Okay, well, the jig catches more than just largemouth. Caught me a nice sunfish. They call this rod a light, fast action, which definitely seems about right. So, I mean, when you catch like a 14 to 17 inch bass, man, that's a blast. That's gonna be a fish. Come on. Oh yeah, there he is. Called my shot there. All right, try to keep him out of the air. Can't tell how big this fish is. Oh, he's not bad. Another wonderful size for this rod right here. Look at that. Yeah, look at that fish. They're jumping today, my friends. They are jumping. Can I have your, can I, can I take you? Thank you. Ew. I just pulled a hook out of his butt. Gross. That was weird. That was a very unpleasant experience for me. And I'm sure he probably felt a little strange himself, but I'm glad I got it out of him. Chunky little fish. And that was disturbing. I don't know what the heck just happened. I didn't know that was going to happen. I saw there was something hanging out of his butt. So I pulled on it. I thought it was just like a little bit of vegetation. Sure. There was a, uh, like a circle hook in him. That was really disgusting. I feel like, uh, I really want to throw this in the trash, but I do not have a trash can. So I'm just going to put it right here. That was weird. I guess some um, bass can digest hooks. Um, huh. There he is. I thought I had a bite. That fish bit it once and he came back for it. Just another little bruiser. Yeah, they're all fighting really good. This is fun. I know I've said it 10 times, but it really is. This truly is a blast. I kind of hooked him funny, hooked him in the bottom lip. Oh my gosh. Okay, chill out, chill out. Okay, look at that. I hooked him in the freaking bottom lip. What a weird place to hook a fish. All right, buddy, thanks for the fight. A lot of fish about the same caliber. There he is, oh man. They're starting to hit a little more aggressively these last several fish. There we go. Yeah, they're all jumping. Every single fish has jumped, I feel like. Woo, there he goes. <laughs> Gotta love spring, my friends. There you go. They get a little funky and frisky, my friends. Okay, keep your mouth, stop it. Why you gotta do that? Okay, this fish is so feisty. Look at how he ate that though, my goodness. Freaking wanted it. There we go. Micro jig, micro bass. Good times. Three, two, one, thump it. Get it. There he is. I thought there was gonna be a fish there. Oh wow, it's a crappie. <laughs> okay. Well, we started the day catching crappie and we're still catching them even on the, the skirted jig. 
Okay, chill out. <laughs> Jeez Louise, every fish today is trying to just give me trouble. They are just all twitching like crazy. I got dorsal fin by 50 crappie this morning, I swear. All right, okay. Why? He's on my crotch now, stop it. Ah. Okay, feisty fish, my goodness. Huh. Ay, ay, ay. There he is. He popped it and they swam down with it. That might not be a bad fish. I don't, just don't know if he realizes he's hooked right. I just don't think he's turned on yet. Oh wait, no. Oh, he's not that big. Okay, there we go. Man, he's kind of fighting now. He's kind of chunky. About the same as the rest of them. There you go. Skinny, probably 14 and a half, 15 inches. See ya, buddy. I think what's kind of cool about this is the fact that I've actually caught three species on it. You know, primarily bass, but I mean, I caught a crappie and a sunfish too, which is kind of cool. Obviously this primarily looks like a little micro bass presentation, but at the end of the day, crawfish will be eaten by a lot of different species. You know, and that sunfish I caught was, I think a warm mouth hybrid and they have big mouths. So I think they actually eat a lot of crawfish. And this right here is probably another bass. He's about to jump, trying to keep him down. It was weird how I lost a couple of fish, but the, the rest of them I've hooked just fine. So I think it was just kind of a, a random deal that I lost those others. Okay, can you just chill for a second? Thank you. Ugh. This is a ugly looking fish. He's kind of beat up. I'm gonna get him right back. Kind of an ugly dude. See ya, bud. There he is. Well, what do we got here? Is it about like the last one? Yeah, about like the last one, about like all of them. Well, he's even smaller actually, but golly, I feel like he fought harder. They're feisty. Okay, the bass fishing is actually way better than I was expecting. Lots of fish, although they're not necessarily giant. There's a lot of quality, quality fish. You know, they're, they're healthy. They're like anywhere from 12 to 17 inches. And uh, that's perfect for a little light setup like this. I gotta say, I know I've said it a couple times, but I'm kind of upset with myself for not fishing with this all, all year up until this point. I'm having a lot of fun with this thing right here. So I'm pretty confident you're gonna see this more in the future. Um, anyways, I definitely like this little jig, this uh, little Kitech jig. I feel like it's a nice little profile to where you're gonna catch some quality along the way, but you're definitely gonna get a lot of quantity. Um, and I think anytime those fish are honed in on little tiny crawfish, this little setup right here, it's a beauty. Before I forget, I actually had one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. I actually now have a website and I've been meaning to share this, but I keep forgetting. I got to give a shout out to my friend Ramon. He helped me develop the website. So thank you, Ramon Outdoors here on YouTube. I really appreciate your help. He's been awesome. Um, that all being said, the website is basically a place for me to write articles on fishing topics that maybe I don't want to make a video on. You know, maybe I'm going to make a video on something and also write an article, but ultimately the goal is to help you guys with topics and questions and that sort of thing and it's really just going to be an extension of my youtube channel except it's going to be written form content as opposed to videos make sure to check it out make sure to sign up for the email list i'm not going to blast you with a bunch of emails but it is a good way to stay in touch and just kind of um, stay on the notification channel either way let me know what you think really appreciate it in advance let's get back to fishing hey i was just swimming this like a swim jig and I got a bass. Interesting. Not a big bass, but he ate it when I was just swimming it back. Obviously the burrow bug has those little claws that have like ridges and they have like a tight pulsing action. So it actually works quite well as a swim jig. There's a fish. What is this? That's a bass. Whoo, he's turning it on now. There's some gasoline in him. He's got some gas in the tank. Look at that rod. Ooh. Ooh, jump. There you go. A lot of fish about the same caliber. A lot of fish that are a lot of fun. That's what I'll say. This fish has been caught before. He's got a damaged upper lip. All right. 
Well, buddy, thanks for the fight. I appreciate it. See you later. Good, good, good. Oh, what a day, my friends. Between this video and the video before this one, we've caught a lot of fish. And speak of the devil, we're catching another. Although this one's quite small. Okay, ch chill, 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 chill. Again, micro jig, micro bass. Okay, good, 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 good. What's next? Okay, what's that all about? Sometimes when you set the hook on braid, that braid digs down into the spool just a little bit, creates like one little spot where it's gonna be a little bit tighter. And then you go to cast again and it, it catches on that. There's one. That's not gonna be a very big fish. Swing him! All right. All right, buddy. Another feisty one. Good times, man. Well, I think that's gonna wrap things up for the day. All in all, I gotta say, I had a fantastic day of fishing. And as it pertains to BFS, I probably should have picked up this rod sooner because I had so much fun with this little thing right here. A couple things that kind of jumped out to me. Number one, this jig, it definitely worked as well as I thought it would. I, I knew this was gonna catch me a lot of fish. It worked really fast and furious. It caught a lot of fish, really liked it. The thing that kind of surprised me is it's really weedless. You know, it came through grass well. It never really got hung up. I'd say that this is a cool little jig and I'm definitely gonna be fishing with it more. Stay tuned for more BFS fishing. I can't say that it's gonna be like my favorite thing in the world to do. I love a good ultralight spinning reel, but I like to uh, fit it into the system from time to time. Great times on the water today. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.